good morning good evening good day afternoon everyone welcome in salesforce epic savan so today we are going to learn about what is salesforce vibes salesforce vibe is more than just a ai tool it's just like a, a core developer sitting beside you it's also available in the vs code extension and vibe this id this tool is basically help the salesforce developer to speed up the thing accurate and secure agent for vibe id formerly also called as a code builder how we can set up it and how we can use it so if you are new then go to this blog post and here you can see the link from where you can create a developer org for your practice and let's talk about this so i already have one developer org which i already created from this link and let's see how to use it to launch this web id just click on the uh, setup uh, icons and then click on that agent for vibes icons once you click it will be launched uh, it will be loaded within a minute for you and automatically a project will be created for you in this org and automatically it will be connected with the same org from where you launch it so let's see how to use it so click on this icon to use this tool so let's see i want to create one custom object for employee and create a couple of want to create some couple of field so let's see how to do it create one custom object called employee and create five fields and then click on the enter let's see what will be happen so it is reading the requirement what you posted and then understanding the pattern what you have in your org and creating the metadata directly for you so here you can see the employee object metadata started creating so you can review it if you want to add it something you can do it and after that you can click on save so my object is created now it's going to create the five fields so it's created the name field i'm accepting it now it will create the another field employee id let's save it Then another one email department I'm saving it whatever the changes generating now the next field is creating salary I say save so it's generating the metadata XML file for you behind the scene and asking you is there is any changes needed so here you can see it created a custom object called employee and created an XML file for me and also generated a file field for me and here I can uh, accept this and if I want to deploy so currently if you see if I go to the object I don't have any employee object in my org so I can give a uh, request to agent to deploy these changes into my org deploy employee underscore no C object in my So now it will be start the uh, deployment command for you. Click on approved. So now you see the task is completed and it deploy the changes in the org. So here now I can refresh it and look into my changes. So you can see object is ready an object is created and then um, all the fields are also created whatever i requested it deployed now i can say create one custom tab for employee underscore c object and add the same tab in my application so now it will create a custom tab for you and add into the uh, existing application which i am using so it's created a tab i'm clicking on save now this is the existing app i'm using 
in the custom app it added the new object also click on save So now you can see whatever the task it generated it just completed it created a tab it created added it to that uh, application so now i'm going to deploy custom tab and launch a tool application in my form so whatever changes we created it will deploy the tab and everything into the all. Now we can see the tab should be available. Go to the all, find the tab. So you can see that employer tab is created. And now you can create a permission set. Create one permission set to give access on employee underscore c object and employee custom tab create one permission set to give access to give read read and write access on employee object and give access on if meta so let's click on this so now you can see it's created a new uh, permission set called employee object access it created an object giving you access you can see that what all access is provided click on save then it will be go to the next command yeah cool it will try to improve the your access setting as well based on what you're doing it so you can see it provided a tab access and everything now click on save approved If you see that it's trying to improve the access and everything it will keep asking you what need to be done you can accept and reject whatever the changes if you think is good just accept it if you think it's not good you can reject it now it's saying save sometime it take time to improve itself again and again and then it will be summarize what exactly it did so you can see that it explained it created a custom object then we created a deploy to all then we created a custom tab then we created added into the application then we added this one now deploy the permission set in my org If this is an issue it will be give you the compiled error so you can say parsing element like allow update invalid element so that metadata what is generated is not good you can always fix it and improve it so you can see here uh, before this one i generated one permission set before to this it was generated properly you can fix it the metadata if you want to and then you can deploy okay
so let's talk about other thing let's see what else we i can do with it so i we see i get a custom object custom tab i get permission set let's see uh, can i create a fx class or not create one fx class to query dot find void underscore c defaults that's it so now you can see that it automatically will create a fs class for me it's created the fs class name for employee uh, employee query service and it's query five default it automatically understand what object i have it's automatically understand what all custom field i have and also it's created to get a thousand report based on the different thing and it created uh, another thing get employee by employee id it created pretty much a uh, good good is good start record for you then you click on save and it create the xml file for you So here it gives you summarize but it created it created like a, a class it created three method for you and everything now you can say deploy this fx class in my app So it's deployed. So let's see if the class is deployed or not. So you can see my class is also deployed into my org. Let's see if I want to create a test class. Create a test class for fx. Class. So you can see that it automatically created a test class for you. A test class for you. You can accept the changes and then save it the thing i like it like you see that it keep trying and updating the field if there's a compiled mr or anything it keep trying to improve it so generated fx class multiple method for you and now it's created a, a metadata XML file for you and save. So in the behind the scene, you can see I see there is an issue. So there is an issue with the test class is empty, does not exist in a search class and all. Let's keep up uh, improving your class based on your org. It's running it behind the scene, it's finding the issue and trying to improve it. So you have to read it what's going on and based on that you can also do the mind map. Some changes from your end and accept what it is doing. It's saying that like now you can see uh, I have successfully created and deployed the test class uh, for the, this one and uh, make sure that everything is there. So it's uh, accepting your changes keep throwing you detail what uh, it's behind the scene it is doing and based on that you can approve it and uh, reject it and it will be deployed okay so my test class is ready so I'm just moving out of it now I'm going to check this let's see I'm canceling this one so now see I have an object 
employee object and now uh, I have salary I have name employee ID department and a text so I want to see the department uh, employee department is uh, HR then set the salary as 100,000 and create a flow for it so let's create a flow salesforce flow a department of uh, let's say a employee underscore c dot department is hr then set the salary as 80,000 so let's see how it will create a flow for me or not So it's unable to read the browser clip. Make sure you have granted access to website to read the clipboard. So we'll try. So let me write on the flow folder. I have a issue. Unable to read it from the browser clip. Make sure you have access. Let's try again. So you can see it start creating a flow for me. So you can see that it created a flow for me, and the behind the scene, it created all the metadata for me. Let me accept it. Save it. Approve. So you can see that, right? There is an issue with the flow structure. Let me get the simpler and the flow. So if it's found the issue, automatically it's try to access for it. And then uh, it's create a new metadata and it's keep trying until it find the right solution for it. So now you can see that it tried to get a flow but not able to get the flow properly then it automatically generated trigger for me and uh, set it up everything for me so that's all for today and i hope there are lots of things we can do with this tool we will explore it more and share with you thank you everyone